My name is Stephen Blau. I work with Technequip Corporation, and today I'll be walking you through the procedures of installing a polarization kit onto an LED ring illuminator. One of the primary reasons for using a polarization kit with one of the LED ring lights is that LEDs in particular are very directional in their light. They tend to bounce directly off any shiny surfaces such as a solder joint um, or a polished finish. In order to eliminate that, we install a polarization unit. Now this is a piece of metal that normally you would not be able to look at because it would reflect back into your face as you're trying to work. Polarization techniques are very useful in a lot of the industries such as biomedical inspection, semiconductor, um, industrial machining, places where you cannot see a product very easily because of reflection. Technoquip provides the Proline LED ring light in a variety of sizes. We've got the Proline 30, which has 30 LEDs, the Proline 40, which has 40 LEDs, the Proline 80, which is dual 40 LED rows, and then there's a special one, the 882, that's designed for the larger Nikon objective lenses. When you receive one of the Proline kits, it'll come in a box like this. Within the box, you'll find the LED model that you chose, a controller module, and the AC power connector. In addition to the standard ring light that you will have, if you order the polarizer kit, you will get these additional components. This is a rotating circular polarizer, an adapter cone, and the polarizer element itself. And I will be walking you through the procedures of installing these components within the system. In order to install the, pro, the polarizer kit into the Proline, you're gonna first need an Allen wrench, and it'll be a 16th inch Allen wrench, and that'll be used to dismantle the ring light itself. There are three screws located on, on the ring light. Those need to be backed out carefully. The next step after you've loosened all three screws is to turn over the LED main body and you'll notice there's a PC board showing. We're going to insert the cone portion of the polarizer kit into the PC board side. When you're done it'll be coming through towards the LEDs. Now you notice the screws are still in place. That makes it a lot easier when you're trying to reassemble the system because you need to line it up with the holes in the back plane that you had before. And what you want to do is be very careful as you do this. You don't want to over tighten or force the threads, the screws in without getting into the threads properly, you'll strip them out and then no longer be usable. They need to be tightened down. Again, don't over tighten. It just needs to stay together. You'll know when you're trying to separate the portions. If they don't move, it is correct. You know, it's solid now. The cone is in the middle. It's ready to go to the next step. The next step in the polarization kit installation is it to install the polarizer lens itself. Now the polarizer lens is very important. You want to make sure that you do not handle it anywhere but along the edges. You do not want fingerprints, dust, scratches, anything on that surface because this surface is what you're going to be looking through with the microscope. If it needs to be cleaned, clean it now. The next step is to take that lens and insert it into the body. You'll, it'll sit into the bottom very flush once you get it in right. Again, don't use your fingers. Maybe a little plastic item might be useful just to tap it into place. Once it's in, you'll know it's seated in. Then the last step is to take the circular polarizer and you'll notice it has three small knurled knobs 
and it goes up onto the body. Best to make sure that either line it up with the existing thumb screws or stagger it, doesn't really matter. And then snug it down, do not over torque it. You'll know it'll be on solid, it won't move. And you can verify everything's working properly because you can grab the inner circle here, which is the rotating polarizer, and you'll be able to rotate it smoothly. If you did everything right, everything should rotate smoothly. It should all be nice and evenly seated. And the same with the lens on the inside. It'll be all the way down at the bottom. We're now gonna install the ring light system onto a microscope system. This is very fairly typical microscope that we used in manufacturing or inspection areas. This one in particular has an objective lens, a large lens on the bottom. What you're going to do is make sure you back out the thumb screws, keep your fingers off of the filters, so grip it around the body, carefully install it over the lens, and then snug down a little at a time all three thumb screws. Now you're going to want to make sure that you aim it so that the power connector on the back is not going to interfere with the focus mechanism. So if somebody tries to move the focus up and down, it doesn't break off when it hits part of the body here. The other thing that's important is to make sure that it is perpendicular to the, to the cone itself. You don't want it to be tilted all wild like that and you also want it as close as possible to the lens so you want to pull it up snug to the bottom of the lens the reason for that is any light coming in that comes in if it's not that flush it'll start reflecting back and forth and create shadows and some distortion of the image if it's tilted the final step in installing the ring light is to connect the power system the cabling and the power supply power supply goes into a standard wall socket Input is on the back, and then you've got the interface cable, which plugs into the back also. There's only one way for it to go. Now that we have the system connected, we're ready to power it up. On the back, you'll notice there's a slide switch. The slide switch controls the actual turning on and off of the system. On the side, you'll notice there's a rotary control and that allows you to raise and lower the intensity of the light system from mostly off to maximum intensity. Additionally on the top you have four buttons on the case of the ProLine 40. This allows you to turn off individual segments of the array. The way they're set up is a quarter, they're quadrants of 10 LEDs so you can control and have only one on two on, three on, four on, or any combination that you need. I'm gonna place a couple of specimens under here so that we can test out the polarization unit and you can see the effects. Right now, we're looking at a component that's very reflective and you'll notice as I rotate, it starts to block out the reflections and all of a sudden you're seeing very high contrast and a whole different series of details and if those were more important to you than the base, the background, this would be a very good way for you to see different, different, different information. This concludes our presentation on the Technoquip ProLine LED ring light systems. For more information, please visit our website.